So you think passenger missions are dead? Well, think again. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. Some time ago I posted a video about passenger missions in rear where you could make a ludicrous amount of money which was nerfed very, very quickly afterwards, which, would, which was due to a um, incorrect value for the increase in passenger mission payout due to the distance that a station was from the um, landing point in the system. And after that, the payout for the missions dropped drastically. But today I'm going to show you that you can still make some very, very decent money um, flying the passenger missions. Um, so, first of all... Um, when you're using this method, we're just very quickly gonna go over the um, the ship loadout. Let's go in here to outfitting. Now, hard points, utility mounts, and core internals. You can do whatever you want. You just make sure you have a jump range of at least 13 light years. That's all you need. And if you do this in an anaconda, that shouldn't really be a problem. I recommend you do this in a ship with as many optional internal compartments as possible. Because just as last time, we're going to stack up on economy class cabins as many as we can cram into the ship. Recommend a shield generator in case you have some minor scratches when you land or, or undock from the station. You don't want your passengers to be unhappy about that. And of course, make sure you have your four tons of cargo to accept that mission reward. Um, so that's also very important to have that. And other than that, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Um, that's the only thing, just get as many economy. I have tried with other classes of cabins, but um, I find going pure economy is um, is the most efficient way to do it. Then, what you're going to do is you're going to come to the system called Epsilon Aquari. And you can see it here, just um, pretty much close to the center of the bubble, so it shouldn't be that difficult. Once you're there, you're going to come to the station called Allen Hop. It is one of several stations in systems, not that far from the star. If the system map would map would open, there we go. You can see it right here, closest star to uh, closest station to the main star, so it is very easy to go get to. Um, only two hundred light seconds from the arrival point. Okay, once you are at this station, just as before, you want to ally yourself with the local factions. You can see I've already gone ahead and and done this, and I found the fastest way to do it was to get a small ship, something that can land on a medium or small landing pad, and then just scroll through the mission list here and look for data delivery missions. It seems there's not a lot of them right now. Um, oh yeah, of course, I'm in a too large ship, because you can see here my ship is too large because I'm in my anaconda, but they are here, boom, data delivery, plenty of them, probably if I scroll down, yeah, here we go. Um, and then just do those, see plenty of them here and here as well. Do those to the neighboring systems. Um, you can stack the solar go to one or maybe two systems if you want. That's really up to you. But just run these. They will also offer donation missions. I recommend you do those. You will get your money back very quickly. So just if you have the money, throw some money at them to get that standing up as quickly as possible. Last, um, one of the local factors here can be a bit of a pain. They don't have that many um, data missions so they can be a little hard to get your rank up with but if you have most of them it's okay so once you've got your ship once you've got your um, your allied um, standing then we have to go into the passenger lounge um, so we've got ship standing and now we're going to look for missions that go to the LTT so we can find us one of the missions here ah here just found one here we're gonna go for the LTT 936 system. There's only one station system, so it doesn't matter. What is important is that it, it says some number here as the first, and then seeking transport or something like that. And you will see here that you are getting quite a good pay. Ferry 20 passengers and get 25 million payout. So I'm definitely gonna pick uh, this mission here. And because that this is bulk transport mission, you can uh, put them across cabins, so all your cabins go into one pool. And that's why it's so efficient to use only one class of cabins. So we're going to accept that, and we're just going to keep looking for um, for more missions. And uh, once all your cabins are full, um, you're ready to head out into the systems. 
I'm almost done stacking missions and I just want to attach a few comments to this. Now, if you're new to the game, you don't know what board hopping is. When you to get the mission board to refresh, you basically log out to the main menu and then log back into another instance. So if you are in solo, you log into open. If you are in open, you can log into private group or solo again. Just jump around between the different instances and you will see the mission board change. Also, note that these missions is trait missions. They count as trait missions. That means if your trait rank is not elite, you will not see the same payouts I'm getting as I'm getting here. You'll most likely see lower payouts, or you're going to have a harder time finding the good payout missions. But remember that doing these missions will actually increase your trait rank very, very quickly. So even if you have a low trait rank, you can just you just have to get it started. And once you get it, got the whole got the whole thing started, wow. Um, you will see your trade rank increase and you will see better and better paying missions as you go along. But I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to accept this last mission. I think I could board hop for more, but I think this is okay for now. Um, and then we are just going to, uh, to undock and, uh, and head over to the LTT system. And as soon as we arrive in system, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to lock the station up. And now we can see why these missions are paying as much as they are. Because our target station is 1,800,000 light seconds away. Almost 1.9 million light seconds away. So point towards the station and settle in. We're already getting, getting interdicted here. And that's probably because of how hostile the system right now. But... It's gonna take you approximately f uh, 40 minutes to get to the um, to the target station. So um, so settle in. So while we have our 40 minutes to spend and we're heading towards the station, I would like to invite you over to this channel's community Discord server. It's a very active community. There's lots of good people, and trust me, Elite is such a good game to play, especially if you do it in a group, so you can share the experience you have with them. Um, we also have lots of other events that are closed off only to the community, um, both in Elite and also in other games. And while you're at it, please subscribe to the channel, that would mean a lot to me. But, let's continue to watch the station, and I'll see you in about 40 minutes. And finally on the landing pad at the Tark station. And of course, all you have to do now is just to hand in the, uh, the missions. And you can see right now I'm sitting at 3 billion and 10 million credits. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hand in the mission and let's see how much uh, money this trip made me. And that was the last of the missions. You can see I'm now sitting at 3 billion 216 million credits, meaning I made 206 million credits on this run. Now, a trip like this normally takes around about an hour. You spend 40 minutes flying out here. You have probably spent around 15 minutes stacking, which leaves you with about five minutes to get from this station and back to the station where we started to start the whole loop over again. But again, this, this can vary depending on how lucky you are with your missions, how many cabin slots you have. Um, so this, this can vary from time to time, but on average, you can do it in about an hour. Um, and as always, I'm going to, to subtract a little. So let's say you can make around 200 million per hour. That puts a little bit of, of wiggle room in case you are a little unlucky with your missions or, or something. But that's around the ballpark that you're looking at. Around the 200 millions per, per hour and per trip. And that's pretty much it. Now, before we end, I would really like if you would consider subscribing to the channel. Um, it would mean a lot to me. And I bring out loads of, uh, of good content, both regarding money grinds like this, but also helping you unlock engineers, finding engineering materials, and have other fun videos. And go watch some of them, and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. But anyway, if you liked the video, give it a like down below. And until next time, I will see you guys in space.